good day today and uh, this story right here is coming out of Inglewood California and it's uh, it states that Melody McDade Dickens the highly paid executive assistant of Inglewood's Mayor Butts has recanted more than a hundred answers she made during the de depositions in a lawsuit attempting to block a new arena for the LA Clippers. McDade Dickens was escorted out of City Hall and placed on administrative leave in July for allegedly violating city policies and potentially committing fraud, according to the court filing by Skip Miller, an attorney representing the city. This malfeasance was con connected to personal financial pressures related to McDade's purchase of a home, Miller wrote in the filing. McDade Dickens, a former campaign staffer for Mayor James T. Butts, who acknowledged being close to her or boss, made more than $342,000 in total compensation in 2018, according to uh, the pay public records. Her attorney, Carl E. Douglas, denies she committed any wrongdoing. In September, Douglas submitted uh, legal correction to her depositions that corrected 148 answers. She changed 48 answers to no, uh, no answers to yes, and provided damaging details that she previously said she could not recall. So that's going to be a battle going on over there, oh, you know, in Inglewood for the, uh, you know, the, 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 trying to build a new stadium for the Clippers over there, but it's being blocked by Madison Square Garden. She is comfortable now standing on the corrected record, even if it's, it is embarrassing to her or the city of Inglewood, Douglas said Tuesday. Madison Square Garden uh, company's lawsuit alleges but tricked its executive into giving up land under the guise it would be used for techni a technology park when in fact but secretly was negotiating for a new Los Angeles Clippers arena for the site. The new billion dollar venue would directly compete with the farm which Madison Square Garden owns uh, less than a mile away. The company argues Inglewood's infrastructure cannot support the farm. The new NFL stadium opening next year and the Clippers arena within blocks of each other. So this is going to be a this is going to be a dirty dirty fight. Uh I, I can, it's already a dirty fight as it is, but it's, gonna, it's getting ready to be even dirtier. Wait a minute. Okay. Washington, D.C. Lakeisha Brown, a teacher at Lafayette Elementary School, is the nation's capital who has named D.C. Public Schools Teacher of the Year. She proved that despite having to overcome a lot of challenges, she can... Uh, she, she can still achieve her goal and inspire her students to do the same. Brown's childhood wasn't easy. She was bullied and teased at school. She was also stereotyped by her own teachers at school for being black. They counted me out, Brown told uh, the new uh, media in DC. They didn't, they didn't put a lot of focus on African Americans and that we could go to college or push to take uh, AP classes. At, at the age of nine, she had to take care of her dying mother who had AIDS. It affected her studies and her teachers seemed not to understand that. Being up the night before and taking care of a sick parent, my teachers were always mad that I was late. They didn't take the time to give me, to give me a moment, Brown said. Now, Brown has been teaching elementary school students for the last four years. She sees to it that students don't experience what she experienced when she was in school. My number one goal is my kids now, before we even start our day, they can get a hug first. If they are late, I'm not going to, to rush them in. I'm going to embrace them because you never know what happened before they got there. Brown also put on, put her own style in teaching to make make a more welcoming environment during class. My students uh, do the teaching rather than me doing it. You uh, will see them leading the classroom, asking questions to each other, Brown said. Some of the uh, children who are shy and reserved don't have, the vo don't have their voices heard. So I started selecting them just to make sure that they are also coming out of their, uh, their isolation as well. So let's see here. Okay, Brown students 
uh, do do weather reports they do weather reports reading reading and even dancing Brown said I allow my classroom to flow in the eyes of my student and how in my adults eyes they have so much energy and talent Brown definitely made the uh, learning experience more enjoyable for our students I like coming in to see Miss Brown said Emily one of her students she lets us have fun but she keeps us getting our brains smarter so congratulations there and she got uh, teacher of the year teacher of the year award and that's uh, an amazing award to receive is that teacher of the year uh, and so can't beat that from homeless to teacher of the year and what a transition she ended up being homeless after her after her mom passed away and here's a real real bad story this uh, the seizure of a house in Dayton, Ohio discovered enough fentanyl to wage chemical warfare, authorities warned, amid the growing scourge of the opioid. A drug bust at the property netted more than 40 pounds of the drug, as well as 53 ounces of suspected methamphetamine, 18 ounces of suspected heroin, three firearms, and over $30,000 in cash. Shamar Davis, Anthony Franklin, and Grady Jackson, 37 of all of Dayton, were arrested following joint operation between the Miami Valley uh, Bulk Smuggling Task Force, the FBI, the Montgomery Sheriff's uh, Office. So they had quite a few different different uh, divisions in there trying to do this, do this drug bust, and uh, trying to see here what's going on ah. three men were charged with possession for intent to uh, distribute 400 or more grams of fentanyl police have accused him of being part of a huge narcotics trafficking operation Home, Homeland Security invest, Investigations Special Agent Vance Callender said 20 kilograms of fentanyl is enough to kill the entire population of the state of Ohio many times over. As a significant seizure makes clear, uh, Homeland Security and our partners are united in our resolve to protect our communities and our country from deadly scourge of drug trafficking. So that's uh, fentanyl. I think that that might have been the same same drug that uh, that killed Prince. Yeah, supposedly I believe he did say he had some fentanyl in his uh, in his uh, system. So I'm glad they got that stuff off the off the uh, enough enough. They had enough to kill the entire population of the state of Ohio many times over. Wow, that's uh, that's dangerous. That's some dangerous stuff right there. So hey, weekend folks, weekend's coming up. Time for some fish. <laughs>